Hey guys, Siobhan Deidre Darwish here, and today is a very, very special episode for me because this is my mom. This is Tammy Averly, and we are in her home in Colorado. We're going to go check out some dispensaries today and maybe do a little bit of thrift storing, but first, I just wanted to let you guys into a little piece of my heart, which is my mama, and yeah, and some history. And some history. So. We'll get started with that. <laughs> get started, Mom. <laughs> well, the history really starts with your dad. Yeah. And that's where the second generation comes in. I just happened to be there to give birth to you. And <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Thanks for doing that. And it, you're, let's see. Back in 1982, when you were born, I guess Nancy Reagan was doing her D.A.R.E. program or her yeah. um, don't do drugs kind of, um, what, D.A.R.E. stood for something, do, I don't know, but it just, it was just say no. Yeah, just, just say, say no. no. And <laughs> yeah. when Siobhan went to school, kindergarten, and that was 1987-ish. Nancy Reagan had her program really all in full force and everybody was down on drugs. And just say no. And it became kind of a, a funny thing. Um, Siobhan happened to see dad one day and she came to me later and she says, Mom, do you think we should call the police on dad, and I said, just say no. <laughs> no. Does dad have a problem? <laughs> We're not going to call the police on dad. We will work on it within our home. Your dad was a, a, a grower. He had his garden, and I had mine. We, this was in 78, so this is back a few years. But um, we were just newly married, and we were doing our little hippie thing. And... We were living in a commune. Everybody was growing in 1978. Everybody had, but it was kind of like um, uh, so covert operations. I mean, you, Absolutely. it was, it was, if you got busted, it was a big bust. And it was, you were going down and you were going to prison and th there was just no way out of it. You lose your house, your everything. So, I realized that with you, with Blessed Coast, you guys have kind of gone through the same thing. History repeated itself in a way, but to a different degree. Yeah, coming out of the black market and going into legalization. Right. Yeah, but and what, a, what an honor, too, to have, you know, know that my parents grew and then to receive the first cultivation permit in the state of California for Blessed Coast Farms was an on, not not just an honor in itself, but an, a family legacy honor, you know, and so. Yeah. So what would you say, like looking at now living in Colorado, you know, coming from uh, 1970s, growing up in the freedom movement, and the summer of love where cannabis was really starting, it, its revolution really started, you know, mm -hmm. and it kind of dipped back into the, into the dark mark, into the black market. But now, of course, it's come back out and, you know, there's studies being shown on it and, and, and it's everywhere and legalization. Like, what are your thoughts and views coming from the world that you did growing up, how you did being a farmer's wife, uh, you know, seeing your daughter be in the black market into the Just legal, say no. <laughs> into the legal market? Like, what, what are your, you know, now, what are your... Oh, I... I... I'm really proud of you. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks, Mom. Yeah. Yay. Yay. When I was in the black market, she was not as proud. <laughs> so oh, well, here we are. <laughs> you know, if you've got to have a legacy, and if, if I, I mean, your dad and I didn't always see eye to eye. For us to come full circle and come to this point, I know, you know, in my heart of hearts, I'm going to get all choked up. But I know your dad would be so proud of you. Profound legacy. Yeah. And I know that he would be really proud. And even even 
grandma, grandpa. Yeah. You know, his mom and dad would. Yeah. Yeah, now Doug. <laughs> but but I remember um, Grandma smoking in the kitchen. Yeah, I remember I came in. They and convinced she, her, you know, and they would be giggling in the kitchen doing dishes, and I'd be like, "This is how you do dishes." Like, obviously, if you've got to do dishes, you should be high for this yeah, situation. Might as well. But that legacy, I know that he would be really proud. I mean, he. I'm just. Thank you. I'm. A, I'm. You know, I'm, it, it breaks my heart that he's not here to see it, but it thrills my heart. That I am, and Yay, it's helped me evolve. Yeah, and um, uh, just watching you when you first started with the West Coast, with the farm, it took me back to thinking about those days of, guy, how fun is this? You know, <laughs> I, and you get to do it legally. I mean, what a revelation that was. Yeah, for me, yeah. it was a big to see me to see you doing what. You were doing in what the we 70s. left off, yeah. where we left off, and and being able to pick up and and take it forward, and it's just really thrilling. And so uh, now, in your cannabis or CBD um, usage, what is your favorite? Those little gummies. You like edibles? <laughs> I like Good. Them. I like them. So, and the funny thing is, is you actually. You don't have a lot of experience with smoking a ball. You know, it, as much of it, it was available <laughs> all the time it, it, uh, it, back then and, and now. And, you know, when we were kids, we'd roll those great big giant fatty fats with $4, $4 lids that, or four finger lids that cost $10. What a deal. You don't get those anymore. No. We got those. Uh, <laughs> no. All right, so let's hit this bomb and let's go through a story. So you're not going to, you're just going to pull and then I'm going to take it. You got this. Okay, just do a little suck in. Perfect. Now, now you're, pull it. There you go. Yay, you did it. Okay, let's do a shot.